Hello, rock and roll community. Phil here with your Tuesday training tool for this week. This month at Rock and Roll, we're discussing presentation of materials. When it comes to early childhood music, there are many go-to favorites that educators turn to again and again. This month, we'll take some time to look at these materials close up and understand why and how we can use them to teach music to young children. First, we're going to take a look at a perennial music time favorite, scarves, movement scarves. Scarves offer a way to translate music that we hear into a movement we can see. They're lightweight, see-through, slow to fall, easy to catch. They flow and drag in the air. They're flexible and pliable enough to show nuance and reflect your movement through space and time. Best of all, they're easy to hold and accessible to learners of all ages. At Rock and Roll, we're interested in using materials mindfully to foster a greater sense of learning and understanding in our students. Let's take a look at some simple strategies to inform how you use movement scarves in your classroom. First, we'll talk about peekaboo. One of the first things that my students ask me to do when it's time to take out our scarves is to play peekaboo. So when I first started teaching, I noticed that some infants and toddlers were very sensitive to peekaboo and might cry if your face disappeared and came back a little too quickly. Using scarves to play lets infants still see your face while still noticing a change. Musically, I use peekaboo games to draw attention to a repeated musical pattern. In the case of the song, hiding in the dark and I say boo, who, 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 who are you? I'm priming their ears and bodies to listen and move on the last beat of a four beat measure. As children become more proficient and familiar with this song, I'll leave room for them to give the signal, showing me that they've truly internalized the rhythmic concept. Next, we'll talk about toss and catch. Scarves are easy to throw and leave plenty of time for children to catch them. Just this simple exercise builds gross and fine motor skills in young children. But when paired with music, tossing and catching can teach children about downbeat or crucis, build up and release, and call and response. Skills and concepts that musicians need to play successfully later in life. When you're modeling tossing to music, think about what part of the music you're accentuating and if it feels natural to toss there. In music, as in life, if it feels good, do it. Flow. So scarves can twist and dance in the air, just like we imagine music does. When we put our focus onto an object, we invite our bodies to do the same. Scarves ask children to think about flow as they embody connected legato style movements that eventually translate to performance. Try moving with your scarf to a flowing piece of music, allowing the scarf to dictate where your journey will take you, not the other way around. Whatever way you decide to play with your scarves, if it's connected to the music you're listening to or making yourself, you and your children are certain to have a great time connecting through the arts and developing fluency in the language of music. Have a great Tuesday, a lovely week, and I'll see you next week for the next Tuesday Tools. Bye, everyone.